Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing today, I titled this video, uh, we're going to be making some Santa and Friends pockets because we're making a Santa. Now, this guy right here, he is like one leftover that I did many years ago when I was doing craft shows, guys. And so this is the thing is this is an oldie but a goodie. And it's just my heart. I love it. I just love it doing a rustic country Santas like this. And so I said uh, Santa and friends because what I'm going to do is I also have a little gingerbread <laughs> that we're going to finish. I haven't put her little uh, icing on around her. So we're going to be doing that. And then also I have a snowman without a nose because I am going to finish it with you guys. Uh, so I, again, I am so blessed to be here with you and uh, as you're coming in onto the page just let me know where you're watching from and uh, if we have somebody if you're new to me uh, again my name is Tracy I craft at Country Charm by Tracy Philip and Joy invited me to be a guest crafter today with you and so I am so honored and blessed to be here to kind of share my ideas and just you know to find new friends all right guys and Miss Carol is watching from Alberta Canada oh love it so much all right so if you're watching over in the country charm by tracy page welcome i'm not gonna be able to see your comments or also if you're watching on youtube i'm not going to be able to see your comments but i go back later i read all the comments and answer any questions okay because sometimes i know what i'm talking about but if i don't quite clearly say it let me know okay <laughs> all right guys so um let me go ahead and move this out of the way i am on my mevo camera that is how i stream through facebook and so what i'll do is i'll zoom you out and zoom you in and that kind of thing so that you can see a little bit closer okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with some jean pockets okay and so you know all of us have jean pockets as far as you know, anyway, you know so you can like raid your husband's closet your grandpa's closet or you know you can pick these up inexpensive at the thrift store yard sales people give them away for free that kind of thing so i have just i just have an abundance of them just because you know my family gives them to me and then i love to craft with uh, jean pockets like this and so i pulled out this stack right here just to let you know what you can uh you know because these are like old you can still see like the um wallet um you know indention on it it was probably my husband's or whatever uh because he's the one my dad usually carries his in the front pocket now but my husband carries his in the back pocket so that's probably my husband's and this is i don't know you know there's just different colors they're different different weight of jeans and so i just wanted to kind of give you some ideas uh for if you wanted to uh do little gifts if you wanted to uh, if you have like co-workers or if you have teachers, if you have, um, you know, just little odds and ends, you know, just a neighbor that you want to give a little something to recycle jean pockets and my style might not be your style but this may spark some inspiration or some ideas to go i can do an angel with that or i can do this with that what what i share is not what you need to recreate i'm just sharing it to spark that inspiration okay guys so also you can um now i have some little greenery in here but you can also once like if you could put a little gift in here and since there's still a bat you know since it's still a pocket you can um use it as a tree ornament that's what i did you know for years you can use them as a tree ornament when i did these when i was doing craft shows i had a, a christmas tree set up uh one of those pencil trees and i would just have these all on the the pencil tree and so you know you can use them as gifts you can put a little gift card in there you can put candy you can just all kind of different ideas so like i said just inexpensive you can paint a little face on it and then there you go and you have a nice gift and then they can use it as a treasure you can also use it as a little uh decoration for a doorknob and that kind of thing too okay all right oh i guess i'll use Mm, did I want to use that one because I wanted to show you guys how I did it because I already prepped a bit uh, because it takes a little bit of time for what I use as a beard now I know there are a lot of people that use different things but I for a Santa beard I like to use caulk just regular all-purpose caulking
anything that you can get at the craft store, not the craft store, well, maybe you can get it there at the hardware store. In um, I just got mine at Dollar Tree, you know, paid a dollar twenty-five for each tube because uh, I got two of them because I wasn't quite sure how much I was going to. Hello, Miss Lori. Um, thank y'all so much for watching today in. All right. So, um, what I've done here also is I know he's Santa without a, a face, you know, but this is what it what it kind of looks like because what I needed to do is get my caulking on. And so I did go a little bit heavy because I wanted to make my Santa a little bit bigger on this um on this face right here. And so it takes a little bit of time for the caulking to dry. So I want to give you a little tip if you're going to do this. If you have some uh, paint bottles or, or something or even a jar or something, what I did is I just stuck it over and put it in front of the fan and so that they can dry like that. Uh, I also used my chalk paint bottles and that kind of thing. So I did one in uh, more of a, you know, primitive country color. This is barn red. Uh, that's what this one is. And then I did one in primary red, which is this one right here. So you can kind of see the difference. You know, uh, I just like the more uh, darker tones when it comes to my Santa. But then when I did this one with the red, I'm like, mm, I don't know, I might like that too. <laughs> All right. So what I'm using, like I said, is a Santa pocket. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, what I usually do is figure out what I wanna do for the face, okay? And so uh, I have just a couple of colors of flesh, you know, color. Now, this is just the paint that I had on hand, but there are a lot of, you know, different paint that you can get. Some, is it, one's a medium flesh and one is called flesh tone. So I wanted to um, have a little bit darker. I like my Santa. This is with the flesh tone. This is with the flesh tone. And then this Santa is with the medium flesh. I like it a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, medium flesh. That's what I'm going to use. Let me I go do, right and I don't like put any, mix anything to it because I don't care if my paint is, um, or if my pocket is it's going to be stiff and I'm okay with that. Uh, there's no really big deal. So I just kind of figure out how big I want my Santa face to be. And so um, I need to keep in mind that like my face is gonna be here and then I'm going to want to put some color around. And so uh, I don't know, I'm kind of liking the red. So we might use the red, uh, the red. I'm kind of liking this one. I'll show you. I had done one more traditional color and then I did the one that I, the barn red that I did, you know, many years ago that still is so well. What I do, and I don't care if it's really uh, even as far as like, you know, or solid around the edges because I'm gonna be covering that up anyway. I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. So I'm gonna let that dry. Usually I give it two, uh, two coats, two coats of this flesh color paint. Okay, all righty. So then um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna use the red. I'm gonna see. All right, so what I'm doing is, is I just take like a stencil brush and just whatever paint. And so then I kind of just go around a little bit. And I know it's not gonna look like much when I'm doing this. You're like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? You're just giving Santa a horrible uh, hairdo. <laughs> Hello, Miss Barbara, so happy to have you. Uh, welcome. Anyone who's scrolling through and go, what is this girl doing? I am painting a jean pocket and we're going to turn him into a Santa. And yes, it does look like I am giving uh, Santa a big old hairdo, but really this is just going to, it's, it's all going to make sense. There's a method to my madness. There's a method to my madness. And so, 
And this right here, that's where the caulking is going to go. And so there we go. All right. <clears throat> So then what I do is I like to make some cheeks for Santa. I know I kind of, you know, um, I like to use coral color paint. Now I know probably the, the, uh, tags have all changed a bit, uh, you know, like the branding and that kind of thing, but it's still good. And so I just like to use, just use, that, yeah. uh, just, uh, another stencil brush. <clears throat> so usually I do wet my brush a little just to kind of get the flow going. And so then uh, I want to make sure I get in the right paint. And so then I kind of load my brush a bit and then I tap it off. And then now um, people do cheeks different ways. Uh, I just, I prefer to use like a stencil brush and paint, uh, but you could also use blush or uh, like real blush like you get in the makeup se uh, section. Uh, or you can use, uh, you know, something else that I may not be thinking of. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to just kind of stipple on, just stipple on and it kind of looks like Santa's going to be a Raggedy Ann, <laughs> you know, but I promise we're going to turn him into a Santa. We are going to turn him into a Santa. So I just do that like that. And, um, well, hello, Miss Maria says you are talented and creative. I've been watching your videos forever. Thank you so much, sweet friend. Uh, I have, uh, this is my true calling, my true passion. And I am just so honored and blessed to be able to, uh, you know, give my gifts and talents you know, with so many people just to share the ideas that I have. And then also be a, a part of this community that is uh, just so great and inspiring and supportive of each other. Okay, so then now I'm going to put on this caulking. Like I said, it's just caulk. Now, if you are not, um, you know, if you don't want to use this, you could use snow text. You could use uh, something else that there's so much thing, so many things on the market. It's very um, good. I don't know why I keep saying caulking. Caulk is good. And so I just kind of start swirling it and I do like less is more. And then I go back a little bit heavier if I want to. So then uh, I'm kind of going around his face and then down here where I, uh, kind of like where his beard is, kind of go down like a V. Oh my goodness. I put my finger in there and I did what I didn't want to do. So then some, also I'll use like just a craft stick and I'll go around and uh, kind of give it some swirls. That's what you saw me doing is just to give it some swirls, kind of like frosting a cupcake or frosting Santa, you know? <laughs> if we can't have fun in crafting and laugh at ourselves, oh, this would be a boring world. So then this is what it looks like as of now. So, um, then once this dries, that's why I went ahead this morning and went ahead and got these ready to go so that I can decorate those because then I need to let this dry. So once I get to this part right here, that's when I would get one of my paint bottles, stick it over this, put it in front of a fan, and then a couple hours later, I let, you know, then I go ahead and then now they're ready. So like I said, I did one more in red and then this one right here in the, uh, uh, <clears throat> in the barn red. Um, okay guys. So what I'm going to do now is I like to add just some whimsical face. Like I love whimsical faces. And so I like to add just a little bit of, um, some lines to the Santa. So I'm using a little thin brush and I am going to, um, this is just a liner brush. And what I'm going to do is just add just a little bit of whimsy to his cheeks. Just give him some little character. And sometimes my, <laughs> 
my cheeks are like go all up all up into his eyebrows but that's okay because that just really adds to a little bit of the whimsy so there's that one so I titled this video Santa Santa and Friends because we're going to uh, do the Santa and then I'm going to show you how I finish the cute little uh, gingerbread and a snowman. I know the snowman doesn't have a nose because I was going to do that with y'all. Oh, sweet Deb says, here's the magic. Guys, if you're new to me uh, and my friends that are watching that do know me, you know what I say. The beauty is in the details. The beauty is in the details. And so, um, you know, if we mess up, we just go back and fix it. <laughs> That's exactly what we do. Go back and fix it. Uh, for my little snowman, I'm going to add a bit of whimsy too. And so for this little liner brush, it has been with me mm, 20 plus years. It uh, It's just a little brush that the handle's broken and uh, it's truly vintage uh, or truly old. <laughs> and so some of the bristles had fallen out. And so when I get asked about these little uh, brushes or liner, br liner brushes to get um, small lines like this, uh, you can, you know, pull out some of the bristles uh, of a liner brush, or you can uh, get a liner brush in like the makeup section because they use, you know, all of that as well, uh, too. All right, we'll go ahead and put that white in his eye once I do these. Okay, so then I like the more almond shaped eyes, and so I'm just using uh, my let me do a pencil. Oh. I was going to say, usually I do like a pencil first, but this is small. So I'm using just a black Sharpie marker. I like the more almond shaped eyes and I like for them to touch at the top. Now, every painter, every, you know, you could use the end of a paintbrush, dot your eyes. You don't need to do it the way I do. I just am kind of sharing what I do. Yeah, Santa's cheeks are all up in his, all up in his face. But we are, that's that just kind of, that's what it, it just adds to the beauty. It just adds to the beauty. So that just kind of gives me something kind of to work with. And then what I do is I go back and add some paint. And so even as long as I have been doing this, this is just kind of my process. <clears throat> So if you are new, uh, or if you're just popping on, just going, coming on, and you're like, what is this girl doing? I am painting on jean pockets. Uh, I'm paint making some Santa and friends. Uh, I have more of a primitive rustic country and then more of the traditional color Santa. I'm also doing a gingerbread and then also a snowman. He is going to have a nose. I do promise you that. Uh, I will... Uh, be sharing this on my YouTube channel. So welcome if you're scrolling through and just finding the video. Uh, also, I am a guest crafter on Days Gone By, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, Days Gone By Vintage Market. Now, they are in Dawsonville, Georgia, and they have, um, they have a brick and mortar store, but they also have live sales here every Tuesday through Friday at 12 12 Eastern and 2 Eastern uh, on their page right here where you're watching me on this page. Uh, and if you're watching on my page, Country Charm by Tracy, uh, you can just click on the Days Gone by Vintage Market. Uh, you know, just the word and then or just the name and it will take you over there. If you're watching on YouTube, I will have a link to this uh, page in the description. So I want to give because I'm in all the places and I just want to make sure that everybody knows where everybody is. And so this, I'm having a little trouble <clears throat> with the eyes with this one just because of the way, way that it dried. It kind of dried a little wonky. So, you know, I'm a little wonky. So we are going to be wonky today. It's wonky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonky Friday. Okay. 
All right. So then while these are drying, let's see, we're going to work on, let's go ahead and get um, his, I always, I don't know why he, I always call him him, he, <laughs> his uh, uh, nose. And so there are two ways that I make noses for my sweet snowman. Uh, and sometimes it depends on which one I am using if i'm using <clears throat> um wood uh or if i'm using something more fabric like this i'll use just my paintbrush or i will use puffy paint or like craft paint that you can get in the craft store like this uh puffy paint you know you can get it and then it has a little nozzle and you can just you know squiggle on uh, a little puffy paint to give them that that's an idea that's just what my purpose is, is just to share that with you guys today. It's just to share some ideas. Now, for the orange, I'm using this warm sunset color. It's a very pretty orange. And so, I'm going to be using that for my nose. <clears throat> so, I have, you know, 1,500 brushes here. So, I'm just using just a round brush and i like it to use this for my little noses because it has a little tip on it just like this and so you know you can do little noses you can make them we find snowmen all different way you know like the noses are up this way down you know sometimes pointing down uh and it just cracks me up so what i do is i load my brush get quite a bit on there and then I am just I'm gonna go make the point this way so I start here and I just kind of start like that that's usually how I start and then I'm going to go smaller from there and I just usually just just make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller just a little bit smaller until I get the point that I like. And so sometimes when I am painting, if it is, I want it a little bit bigger, then I can go bigger. But sometimes if I go too big off of the bat, then it's hard, <laughs> you know, to kind of make it smaller. So I just encourage anyone that wants that, you know, is not familiar with this, then there you go. Okay. So for my gingerbread, what I did is I just did kind of the same thing. Uh, I just used milk chocolate brown and I just put two coats of that milk chocolate brown. And so then I shaded with uh, around the edges with black paint. And so I do share a lot of shading and uh, hand pan painted things uh, on my painting videos uh, on my Facebook page as well as on my YouTube and so then I made some little eyes and I've already put the little swooshes in there then for her cheeks I like to use barn red and I use that same technique that I did with the coral I just use the barn red make some little rectangle cheeks and put some little lines in there and so then for the outside I just painted it with uh, plaster chalk paint and then just use my flat brush and just made some striping around that <clears throat> okay so then I'm going to use that little liner brush as well and then we're going to and then I just use my black sharpie marker to give her a sweet little face just a sweet little face sweet little gingy <clears throat> okay sometimes this can be a little bit tricky but I just kind of take my time load my brush trying to, to get my fingers in the others and just kind of go around just making some um wavy wavy lines now since this is denim it is a, not quite as smooth to like you know run the brush across so it's kind of taking a little bit more time.
my goodness, they do turn out good. So that's what I'm saying. Just take your time. One of the things that I just love to encourage, um, you know, if you like this style of painting is just do, you know, just take your time, do your thing. And guess what? If you mess up, then you can paint over it or, you know, you can get pockets. <laughs> different place. all right so while that's drying what I'll do is um, figure out how I'm going to do the nose now what I there's a lot of different ways that you can use um, noses or what you can use for noses and I just have all of my uh, wood beads I have two of these I have wood beads in one and then I have uh, furniture plugs in the other and these are three eighths inch um wood plugs and those are just i'll show you what they look like just like that that's what they look like that's what i like to use for my um for my santa noses <clears throat> and so you can also use split balls or um something like that but this just little furniture three eighths inch uh furniture plug and you can get those Anywhere like the little wood wood items are sold, you can get that. So I want this to dry a little bit more because I need to add uh, some other things to it, like some distressing, my white of my eyes before I put my my noses on there. So then, um, what I do just to kind of give him a little bit of distressing is I'm just using just uh, milk chocolate paint, uh, and I put a little bit of that in a cup, and I'm just using like a punch cup. I put a little bit of that in there, and so then just, a, I don't know, just a couple of, um, you know, just drops. And so then I add some water. And then I use uh, a stencil brush and it kind of, I want it to look, uh, you know, mute it like that. That's how I want it to look. Watery, but yet not dripping. And so then I just dip my little brush in there. This is the fun part for me. This is where kind of, you know, when I do the swooshes of the beard and everything, this is what, I just love this part. So you can see just by adding a little bit of stain or a little bit of uh, distressing, I'm gonna do half of, his face, uh, half of his head and so then you can see the difference. And then if there's a little bit you know, I just kind of go around the edges so you can see how that is a little bit, uh, gives it a little bit more rustic look to it. And so sometimes I'll take like a little um, baby wipe and just kind of dab that off. Just I really like to get in those, those curls, those nooks and crannies. And so sometimes it does get a little watery. So I just dab that off. Okay, I just love primitive country. I love rustic. I love all of that goodness. So, you know, like I said, these just make great um, thing, you know, great ideas for just, you know, little gifts that you can create. Uh, even like with the grandkids or the kids or something like that, you can use them for gifts, you know, co-workers, neighbor gifts, teacher gifts, that kind of thing. Okay. Alrighty. I just dip that little brush in there and just do some eyelashes. Like I said, my little hand painted items are not perfect. And... Got off there a little bit. That's okay. We can fix that. All right. There we go. There we go. Just like that. And so then I have this one. Go ahead and give him some eyelashes. I just love the whimsical look. Uh, again, if this is not your style, you can always, uh, you know, put, use the end of a paintbrush and, you know, just put two dots and call it a day. And 
Uh, so just by adding the little whimsical, oh, I've already done that. I was going to give her more eyelashes. She, she's done. So that's what I do. I just add some eyelashes and then I'm going to use that same brush, but I always make sure that I have it cleaned out and then I'm just going to add some white to the eyes and depending on how I, so what I do is I just put a little comma in the eye and depending on which way I it always, see that's the way it looked if I would have done it the other way it would have looked like she was um, looking the other way I just usually go this uh, on the side that's just my preference now I know that there's a lot of painters that do their eyes different and that is okay that just makes us all unique and individual So, uh, see, I have this Santa, the eye, I put the white this way, so it looks like they were looking this way. And then this Santa, I put it on this side, and it looks like he's looking that way. So, I know it really doesn't matter, but I'm just kind of sharing for someone who may be new, who may not understand, why is she doing that? Why is she doing that? You know what? I forgot to put some little eyebrows for our sweet snowman. So I'll also use that. That's Y'all see why I'm so fond of this little brush, right? <laughs> that is why, because I use it for all my little details. So then now my snowman uh, nose is dry. And so I'm going to add just a little bit of shading. I'm just taking a, just a, uh, just a very thin, flat paintbrush and how I do my shading is I dip half of my brush and paint uh, the other half in water so let me I'm just using just uh, another cup uh, and I just put a little water in there and then I blend on these paper towels or I just blend on a paper towel and that just didn't blend very well it just kind of blends the paint into the brush and so then I just kind of add a little bit of, of definition to his, his snow, his carrot nose. Because as I always say, the beauty is in the details. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of the, like where the carrot ridges are. Just add that. So you can kind of see that hopefully on camera. So then for the nose, um, what this is what I usually do is I would uh, just put it on, I would glue it on just with some there in the center. And then once it was on, then I would paint it. I give it some coral color. And I'm just using... Um, just some hot glue, but uh, probably since this is fabric, maybe I would. I need to get some fabric glue sticks uh, to put in my hot glue gun. And then also I had painted this because I was going to do a border like I, I did with this one. Okay, so then once those are on, then what I do is uh, use some of that coral color of paint. And get a little bit more of that. Thanks, Barbara. She says they're precious. I do appreciate that so much. I uh, just want to spark some inspiration and some ideas for, you know, just to recycle some uh, jean pockets. This is my Santa and Friends <laughs> segment. Uh, that's what I'm titling it, Santa and Friend Jean Pockets. So I'm taking um, another stencil brush and just kind of uh, dipping it in that coral color paint, dipping it off or dabbing it off rather, and just kind of stippling it on to give him a rosy nose, just a little rosy nose. And so why don't I just paint it? I don't know. This is just something that I do. And I don't know. I just like the wispiness of it. So it's not like 
fully covered. I can see some of the brown, but it, you know, the brown of the natural wood, you know, you can see it on the side and it's just right on the, like he has a, a rose, rosy red cheeks and rosy nose and all of that stuff. So um, I'm going to show you also what I sometimes like to do is take my fan brush and make a border. So this right here, what I did is I used my flat paint brush. Uh, let's see. I like to use this number 12 flat or yes number 12 flat paint brush and I just went around uh, a little bit to give it a border this is just black and then this one I use that barn red uh, I just use that barn red <clears throat> so like I said you know the beauty is in the details and so um, that's what what we do had a little glue string there so I'm just um, just for this I'm gonna go ahead and just use the barn red and just use my fan brush now this fan brush is very loved too and I just like to use just a few bristles of that where it's not very uh, where it's not solid and so that's how I like to I, I don't know I call it my faux plaid pattern um, or my faux border uh, but my faux plaid pattern I always say I always say that my faux plaid pattern but I'm just kind of right here I'm just doing some lines and it just kind of gives just a different look for my rustic country primitive crafts. Okay, Deb asked, can I get the brushes you use from Amazon? Uh, yes. Um, yes, on my page is uh, my link tree on my Country Charm by Tracy page. And any of my videos, my more current, current videos on my YouTube channel, my link tree is that's where all my favorite links are and I have my favorite brushes links uh, linked I have all of that fun stuff and so see just by adding just some stripes just kind of gives it a different look and of course and I'll go back and add some uh, brown shading what I like to do just to give it a more grungy look or a distressed look I guess I should say so Christy is asking she missed the beginning how will you use these? Um, these are pockets, uh, Santa and friends, because I have Santas and then I have um, snowmen and gingerbread. But you know, you can use them. Uh, we're gonna put some homespun fabric on, on to use as a hanger. You can use them for little gifts uh, for Christmas uh, or you know, like little coworker gifts, teacher gifts, you know, student gifts, you know, neighbor gifts, that kind of thing. And then the recipient can then, they can use it as an ornament for their tree, uh, or they can, um, you know, put it on a doorknob or as a decoration, put it on a hook that will look really cute as well. Um, you know, just that kind of thing. So we're going to switch up because I wanted to kind of show y'all the different colors um you can put a gift card in it as well yes that is right you can put a gift card in it uh you know anything like that some candy you can put uh in there and just you know i just wanted to kind of share something that may that maybe you have on hand that will not break the bank <laughs> will not break the bank uh you know you can go rob grandpa's closet uh or you know someone say call up your sister and say hey you know are y'all do y'all have any jeans that y'all want to get rid of <laughs> and these would look cute too you know smaller sizes you can use them um you know for student gifts you know if your kids have friends uh, and they want to give a little gift to or something like that this is just my style of doing things but you can get all kind of different um, iron on you can I just paint it but you can also you know change it up whatever your style is if it's a little bit more modern or um, you know if, mine is just very country primitive country rustic and just love all of the all the colors of all that stuff so you can kind of see the difference in, you know, I use the reds and the greens, and then I just use the um, more primitive colors in that. He's turning out adorable. And I don't have any of those sparkly flakes on hand. Uh, I know, I, I don't know if you can get them from Amazon, and I forget what they're called, but that would look so cute if you had some of those 
um, mica flakes. I think that's what they're called, mica flakes. While this is wet, you could sprinkle some of that on it, make it glisten a little bit. I'm trying to think if there's something else that I have on hand that might work a little bit better. Okay, so for my snowman, what I did is I did the same thing uh, like what I did with the gingerbread, like just paint, um, just uh, I use plaster color chalk paint. And so I just, you know, gave that two coats of plaster color chalk paint. And then that is uh, what I use for my snowman because I don't want a white, white snowman needs to have just a little bit of a color uh, and I like that plaster color chalk paint okay so then now that this is dry um, that's why I always I just the beauty is in the details for me I say that all of the time uh, if you're new here to days gone by vintage market uh, if you would give them a follow because they ask they were so kind and so sweet and asked me if I wanted to craft be a guest crafter today so I am grateful to be here if you're not familiar with them they are um in georgia dawsonville georgia and they do have a website but they sell tuesday through friday 12 eastern and 2 eastern they have live sales and they ship all over the world all over the world okay all right so then um now what i'm going to do is add some color to I was using the bigger plates, but then I found these smaller plates and I'm like, well, let me see how those work. Well, then now I'm like, well, I should have got the bigger ones. Let me get another cup. Because when I do shading, um, if I don't, if my water is not clear, then it's going to use, make the color. Thanks, Miss Deborah. She, Deborah says, love this so much. Thank you. Okay. So then I just like to add some shading and I just use uh, just a flat paint brush, dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water, and then I blend on a paper towel and then it, that's what it does. It blends that paint color into the, bri uh, the bristles and the brush bristles. And so then that kind of gives it that uh, shaded look. And that's what I did around my snowman. So you can kind of see the difference and I just, I just like that look. And so I'm gonna do this right here with Sweet Gingy. And so then I'm just going around here and just give some color. Like I said, we're going to put some homes, homespun fabric on there just to give it um, a hanger. Deb says, I've never used mica flakes. What color do you... Um, mica flakes, I think, only come in like a translucent. I, I don't know. I mean, you just... I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm saying the name wrong, but I think they're just like, um, like little flakes and, and they just glisten. Maybe I'm not, um, saying the thing correctly, but, um, they're just like, it has to be something wet for it to stick to. And so, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure if they come in different colors. I think they're just kind of clear. So I would do the same thing. That's a little wet. So I'll need to, you know, make sure that that's dry because I'm telling you from years of painting, you're going to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll, uh, I paint something and went, oh goodness, that's not dry yet. Okay. So this is just yarn that I've had on hand and you can get like this yarn, like this at, um, Walmart or any craft store, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby is my favorite store. Um, uh, Lori says diamond dust. I'm not real familiar with diamond dust. Um, I've heard the term, but I'm not real familiar with it. So that might be something um, that you can use as well. Like I said, there's so many things on the market now. So I just pulled out these two colors just for different, you know, to kind of show you the different, um, I don't, you know, you don't see that I have the tags because of course that's what I do is I throw those away. So I'm not sure. 
what the like this yarn is called so what I do to make like the mustache or what I call the beard is I just use my fingers and so depending on what size Santa I'm doing uh, depends on what how many fingers I use so for this one right here um, I usually use the three fingers and I just wrap it around um, several times until I get the fullness of what I like um, let's see one two three four five six seven eight so I'm doing it about eight times and then um, I cut it off and still hold it in hold it in my fingers uh, and then I cut off a piece of it because that's what I'm gonna tie it and I like to use like sharp scissors like this like my cutter bees and so I had tied some, um, just some ribbon on there just for me to know that this is what I use those for. So then what I do is I just gather it in the middle and then I tie it off. I don't cut the loops until I do this. So I'm just going to tie it off in the middle and then I'm going to cut the loops and then that is going to give me the, um, you know, fraying or whatever so then what I do is I just kind of find this those loops and then I'm going to cut that off just like that and if there's some straggly if it's too uh too fluffy too frizzy I'll just cut that off uh, with my scissors just like that and if uh, I just go through just to make sure that I have all of my loops cut because I do try my best and it, you know sometimes it doesn't happen you know sometimes they I cut I don't cut it in the center and then it's a little stragglers just like that so again this was wrapped around three fingers uh, about eight times and I may have made it a little bit too fluffy but I don't know we'll see just use my hot glue and then just put it right here so again if you're just scrolling through we are making some Christmas pockets Santa and friends so we're making uh, a more traditional red Santa uh, primitive Santa with the barn red I have a snowman and I have a gingerbread so I'm calling this segment Santa and friends <laughs> Santa and friends okay so then there is that oh that looks adorable I still have a wet spot right there so that's why I haven't did my shading on that yet uh, I don't know why I put that on there so let's make the beard for this one so if you're watching on the replay um, you know you can always fast forward or uh, you know uh, that kind of thing if it's not you know something that you want want to see i get comment because i upload all of my videos to youtube and so i'll get comments um you know because youtube sometimes they just like the short to the point no chit chat that kind of thing uh, but i do upload my lives there and you know as a replay and so most of my community is just so uh supportive and just so just so friendly and i get the sweetest messages to say thank you because you know some people are um lone they're very lonely you know and uh, we live in a very lonely world and so you know sometimes just watching a craft video is just refreshing it just gives them um, something to do and I just so this is the reason why I do it so if you have sent me a message just to let me know that you enjoy crafting along with me and watching the replays and just you know listening uh, and just learning a thing or two I so appreciate you because you are why I do this okay all right so then now we're going to put a little glue here so we're going to put this one on here okay and of course you know beauty is in the details guys so i have to give santa a little swoosh on his nose 
<laughs> right there. Just, you know, give him a little swoosh. And let me do this one. Just like that. And so, like I said, the purpose today is just to share ideas, just to give you, spark some uh, ideas, just to say, hey, I can do this. I have all of these jeans that I was going to throw away, or I have these jeans that I was going to donate, uh, or I have, you know, this of um, what I want to do. And it just, <laughs> I just got another idea. This, this is just kind of how my mind works. So y'all just have to bear with me, okay? around her face, but it just, hmm. I have some uh, white puffy paint. I was just thinking I would do some white puffy, since it's a gingerbread, I uh, should have done it on her face, but I had already done this. So I have some puffy paint that I just got at the craft store. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then probably what I'll do once this dries, because that takes a little, puffy paint takes a little bit of time to dry. What I'll do is then I'll go back and I'll use that, um, that watered down brown paint and just distress it a little. I'm going to do the same thing on here. That's the thing. You can just make a bunch of these pockets and have so many different designs and so um you know if you don't like th this look what you did on one then don't do it on the next one <laughs> that's what i just say oh i don't know i kind of like that now with the up at the top oh sweet oh my goodness Yes, that is so sweet. So like I said, you could just turn different, um, you know, pockets into different, uh, just cute little character. I'm, I, I just like the cute little characters, cute little whimsical faces, uh, and all of that good stuff. And I should have, so I'll need to, uh, cause I use my black Sharpie marker, but I don't want to get the edge of my, um, hand in there because I know I'll do that. I've been there, done that, so I'll need to trace it out. But I definitely will post pictures on all of, uh, on my page as well. Okay, that's dry. So we're going to go ahead and do some shading because I want to show y'all that. And so you can just see, just by changing up the colors, you can get different looks by adding different um, extra, you know, paint mediums and that kind of thing. You can just have different things. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> somebody who knows me well, somebody who knows me well is going right now. One of my friends is saying, oh my goodness, Tracy, you did not do any." paint splattering guys i love to paint splatter now i could still do it on these but hmm, this right here see i already put the beard on there so probably what i'll do is i will i will give some paint splattering because i do I, i'm a i'm an old school crafter and i love to paint splatter is... homespun would look really pretty for my ginger for my miss gingy and guys, um, I know I've shared this with my community, but I got this idea from the little green bean on uh, Instagram. And she, uh, like, she works with fabric a lot. And so she wraps her fabric on these pieces of foam board. And then she just pins them. And then she stacks them up in her craft room like uh, library books. <laughs> or like a library. And so that's, I've been doing that ever since. And so appreciative. Okay, so I have to be careful with this because that paint is wet. And so what I do is just not... A uh, little, I like to rip off my homespun and, you know, I just love that and just knot it a couple of times so that I can get a hanger. And then I'm going to glue that right there. 
I'm afraid to do that right now because of that, that, see, I got that in there. So I just want to kind of tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a hanger like that because this is, can be a gift. And then once they're finished, you know, you could put a little gift card in there, uh, candy, uh, you know, something like that. Then they can hang it on their tree and, re uh, you know, remember whoever gave it. And you can always write your name on the back, write the year, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be using some homespun for that. So then I pulled this one out for my snowman. This is also some homespun. I love homespun. Homespun, you can just see it on both sides. So I was going to use that for my snowman. But I don't know who had the bright idea to uh, use that puffy paint. But I think once it dries and I distress it a bit, it's going to look pretty. But what my what I do, I'm just doing inspiration. Uh, you can definitely do your own thing. And then I pulled out this homespun for my Santa. I think I'm going to use... Hmm. So that's what I do is I like hold it up and go, which one do I like better? You know, I think I like this green and red one. And so then that is going to be for my uh, red sand, red and green Santa. Rip off about, I don't know, maybe an inch. Just rip that and it is stringy. I'm not going to lie about that, but I love, I can fight with this, with the, uh, strings because I love me some homespun and I just love all the different colors love 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 all the different colors <clears throat> and so I just usually knot it give it a knot like I said if you're watching on the replay uh, you know you can fast forward uh, back up you know fast forward that kind of thing sometimes I know not everyone quite understands when we're crafting in real time to show you how we do a craft. And I think I got that a little bit too long. How we do a craft from start to finish um, on a live. Just to kind of hang out. Oops, I want to knock that out one more time. I like it a little bit, a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker knot. And so if, uh, you know, you don't have to use homespun. I just love that. And probably if you're watching on this page, you probably like homespun as well. And so. So then, uh, you know, this is a little hanger. I'm gonna let that dry. Uh, but, you know, you can put your little gift in there, a little gift card, a little candy, a little something like that. And then when they're finished, they can use it as a Christmas ornament or they can use it as a, a door hanger or other different, um, you know, decor. Hang it on a hook or something like that. Okay, so then now we're going to make a tag. Okay, so then I like to uh, have the torn edges on my paper. So to get those torn edges, uh, if you don't know, what you do is just tear it um, to, like I tear it toward my body. So then that gives the torn edge. And, you know, if you don't have ex access to uh, like tags or something like that. Then okay, gonna... so then do the same thing here. Thank you, sweet Anne. Anne says that the pockets are so cute. I, I hope that I've inspired someone just to um, believe in yourself and just um, that you can uh, do something that doesn't cost a lot of money that maybe you have on hand. And so um, now what I'm going to do is I got a brand new vintage photo distress ink ink pad. I ordered it off of Amazon because I had been using the uh, Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and I don't know, it was dry. And so uh, Hobby Lobby just seems to have the oxide pads. And so <clears throat> I actually found the Vintage Photo Distress ink. So I'm just using... 
that. And so then I just like to add just a little bit of distressing around. Oh yeah, that's a much better. And so then I also kind of go in just around like this, just to give it a little bit of distressing. And then someone told me to store my ink pads. So I'm just sharing that tip to store my ink pads upside down because the ink kind of, you know, I guess goes to the top, which is the bottom, you know, when it's upside down. Anyway, so then I'll just like my doodles, I like my squiggle, squiggles and all that stuff. And just using something recycled that you can uh, use, you know, that you want to recycle from your home or from your grandparents. Uh, like I said, you can find, you know, jeans inexpensive at yard sales, uh, Goodwill. Um, you know, some people, if you ask your neighbors, they might say, here, take them. I was going to throw them away, but you can have them. And so then you can make some cute ornaments uh, or make some cute gifts. So what I'm doing now is just taking my detailing brush, just putting a little comma or a little highlight in the uh, happy dot of each letter. Like I said, my detailing brush, that is my best friend, my black black Sharpie marker is my best friend. I love my vintage photo ink. Uh, I love all of that. So I'm just kind of drying this up, just hitting it with my heat tool. It's paper, so it dries really fast. And so then, of course, you know, because I'm extra, I love to crinkle it up and give it a more aged look because we don't like things that are straight. <laughs> of course, I'm being sarcastic. <clears throat> so then there is that. Um, I like to use jewelry cording uh, like this. Myself. I had a very small hole puncher, of course. I will find it after my live. <clears throat> So what I'll do is just to put a very small hole, I'm using my paper piercer uh, and you can get these at the craft store or you can get them on Amazon and it just pokes a hole in your paper. It just pokes a hole so that I can get my little string through there. Just put like a small knot in there and oh it just dawned on me guys you could do these for your grandkids and you can write their names on little tags and then they knew what, what ornament is theirs if you don't like your handwriting you can print their names on cardstock or on some thicker paper and then do the, the tearing technique that I shared. Um, oh my goodness. I just, you know, that's what I do when I craft. You know, this these different ideas just come. But how cute is that? Or like your coworkers. You know, you could do the different names of each coworker or your neighbors uh, or, you know, something like that. Or, you know, I'm sure... I love, absolutely love reading the comments, and I hope that, you know, a lot of people do read the comments after the lives or during the lives or whatever, uh, because so many friends give so, so much of valuable information, you know, like you can get this there, you can get this here, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to tie that on there. Like I, I thoroughly said. enjoyed this, guys. This is my heart. I love this so much. <sighs> I love this. Yes, the little 
Santa, you know, just with the different color, you know, you're just using the, the red and the green, the more traditional colors. Of course, I need to go back and add my black splatters because that's what I like. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even think about that. So this is the more country, primitive country rustic. So I have the Santa, uh, the two Santas, and then uh, I, I need to let this dry. Uh, this is my little snowman. You know what? I forgot to put a face, uh, a nose on him. Let me see. Hmm. I like to put a smile. Hmm. I don't want to get, I, I will. You'll see it in the picture. I will post picture. I'm just scared. I don't want to get my hand in that puffy paint. I could kick myself for doing that. Um, yeah, I just put my finger in there. <laughs> I cannot be trusted. I cannot be trusted. Anyway, so this is uh, Days Gone By Vintage Markets page. So if you haven't yet, please follow their page. And if you like my style of crafting, I invite you um, to follow me at Country Charm by Tracy. Thank you, Philip and Joy, for having me be a guest crafter here on Days Gone By Vintage Market. Uh, I so appreciate it. And just remember, they do have live sales every Tuesday and Friday or Tuesday through Friday at 12 Eastern and 2 Eastern. So thank y'all so much for joining me. God bless you. We will see you in the next video. All right, bye guys. Y'all have a wonderful weekend.